Blackfly presents the 10 most bizarre restaurants. Number 1. This Japanese eatery has the usual things on its menu, sashimi and sushi, etc. What's unusual is the nude female form the food is served on. It's called a nayotaimori, the translation of which is female body plate. Patrons are served with an operating table, complete with an edible body. Diners cut the body up to surgically remove their dinner. Realism is all important in this restaurant, and customers can expect blood to gush from the wounds they create with their cutlery. The inner organs can all be eaten. Cannibalism with a difference. Number 2. One of the themes at this themed restaurant in Taiwan is the toilet. Really, people actually go out to dinner to eat out of a loo. It looks like the toilets and customers sit on toilet seats. Instead of regular crockery, you can expect to eat from traditional Japanese squat loos and from the seats which grace our toilets. The bathroom scene doesn't end there. Lights have been created from urinals. There are taps lit up with neon lights and the tables were originally baths. Unsurprisingly, the name chosen by the proprietor translates as toilet in English. Apparently, the idea behind the theme is to provoke good fun as well as feed people. The Chinese name is Ma Tong, if you were wondering. The prices are very reasonable. For between six and ten dollars, you can have a full meal with soup to start and ice cream to finish. The owners are convinced that their clients believe the more bizarre and gross the theme of a restaurant is, the more fun you'll have eating there. Number three. High flyers in Brussels may want to visit Dinner in the Sky. It's just as it sounds. You sit down to dinner and then a crane lifts you into the sky. Well, 150 feet into the sky. There is space for 22 at this dining experience with a difference. There are a number of locations across the capital city, but it comes at a cost. 8,000 euros to be precise. For safety, you are strapped into your seat with a seat belt. Number 4. If you fancy dinner in the dark, Beijing has the restaurant for you. Inside, everything is painted black. The waiters use night vision goggles to see their way and guide the patrons to their tables. In contrast to the eating area, the entrance is lit. The restaurant protects its theme by banning any sources of light, so phones, light-up watches and torches are all no-no's. Apart from the entrance to the restaurant, the other place customers will find light is in the toilets. The whole dining experience takes place in the pitch black in order to enhance all of the other senses and offer a taste experience like nothing else. Number 5. This really is dining with a difference. Here you get to sit by graves while you enjoy your milky tea and rolls. It's called the new lucky restaurant if you're wondering. The restaurant has been open for nearly 40 years and was built on an ancient Muslim burial ground. The graves look like miniature cement coffins and apparently the diners like them. The restaurant certainly is busy and the owners claim that it's the graves bringing good luck. Each morning a flower is laid on each of the graves, which are around a foot high and painted green. There is a grave by the cash register and others are dotted around the restaurant. There are four along the kitchen wall. Number 6. This unusual eatery has proved so successful that there is now a chain of them. It is an Italian top security prison. The restaurant is in a deconsecrated chapel inside the 500-year-old building. Being a high-security establishment, there are massive walls, security surveillance, guards on watchtowers and lights scanning the area. Guests are treated to piano music played by Bruno, a murderer serving life. Hugely popular, you have to make reservations well before you plan to eat at this restaurant, which provides 120 covers each evening. Customers are subject to fierce security checks before being allowed in. The kitchen team is closely supervised by armed wardens. Number 7. This Chinese eating house is closed for only three hours each day, but how do the two managers work all those hours? Customers were so confused that they started referring to the restaurant as being run by the robot couple. 
In fact, it's not one couple, but two. Two sets of identical twins, that is. It wasn't until the owner was interviewed for a daily newspaper that the trick was discovered. The twins married the other twins after growing up in the same town. All of them are 32. They relocated to the city in order to manage the restaurant. Customers had no idea that they were seeing double and assumed that there were only two people managing the restaurant. Number 8. In 2007, the Hilton Maldives was the scene of the world's first underwater restaurant. Aptly named Eat Ha or Pearl, customers get to travel 5 meters under the Indian Ocean into an acrylic cave offering panoramic views of the coral reef and underwater delights. A $5 million renovation project has been taking place on the two islands which the Hilton Maldives Resort and Spa is set on. There are almost 80 super luxury beach villas being built and a whole village within the resort, with its own villas, restaurant and spa. Number 9. Yes, you saw that name correctly. Cabbages and Condoms is a Thai restaurant chain. Condoms are the order of the day, with the carpet sporting a condom print and condoms hanging on the walls. After your meal, you are invited to take a condom from the condiments bowl, where you'd usually find a mint. The Population and Community Development Association receives all proceeds from the businesses. Number 10. Another themed restaurant, this time in Taiwan, is DS Music. Despite the name, it is in fact a medical extravaganza. Of course, the serving staff dress like nurses, but more original are their IV drips for the drinks and the crutches adorning the walls. The restaurant was designed as a symbol of the owner's thanks to a local hospital for looking after him so well. Thank you very much for watching yet another amazing video. Please do subscribe for many more.